Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Republican troubles in uh, Colorado. And it is a storyline straight out of South Park. Um, so in Colorado, the Republican nominee for Senate is uh, a guy named O'Day. And he's, he's a moderate like, legitimately kind of moderate. Um, let me think of some qualifiers for that real quick. He's openly said that he's, you know, supportive of same-sex marriage. He's um, he's supportive of most kinds of family planning. Like, this is not a guy who would support, like, a six-week ban or anything like that. I want to say that he's he's good with everything up to 20 weeks or something like that. He's still a conservative, but not quite, you know, just out there like a lot of the candidates the Republican Party is is fielding are. Um, this is a seat that the Republican Party really needs to flip if they want to take control of the Senate. And they're putting a lot of effort into it. Um, and this is a candidate that might actually be able to do it because... He is kind of moderate. And in, in Colorado, Republicans need to get the entirety of their base and then pick up some unaffiliated voters if they want to stand a chance. And this is a person that could have done it. And then Trump showed up. <laughs> Trump has basically instructed MAGA to not vote for him. This is a seat that Senate Republicans desperately need, and Trump has uh, definitely spoke out against him, saying not to vote for him. Um, O'Day is uh, is definitely not a Trumper. Um, has said that he would openly campaign for other people um, for the Republican nomination in 2024. Would campaign against Trump. He is trying to cast himself as very much not beholden to the Republican Party. Um, but Trump very well may have just cost the Republican Party this seat with one of his little wannabe tweets. Because his followers, he has sway over enough of them to, to make them vote for somebody else. And um, that... That's it. That, that'll be the end of it. Uh, I know people are wondering exactly what Trump said. MAGA doesn't vote for stupid people with big mouths. And that was said without irony. Like, you can't parody that. that that's what was said. I would disagree with this statement. <laughs> Um, I mean, when you look at the Sedition Caucus, I mean, this is pretty much what they are. They, they're not incredibly bright people, but they talk really, really loud. So they get attention. I would, uh, I, I have a lot of commentary about that statement. Um, but he said that referencing O'Day. And if the MAGA faithful, if the MAGA faithful adhere to Trump's edict and they refuse to vote for him, that's it. His campaign's over. His campaign is over. Trump will have cost the Republican Party this seat. Um, and then Trump has to worry about the flip side of that, which is one of the first rules of leadership is to never give an order that won't be obeyed. If people do vote for him, all it does is show how weak that man is. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.